Well, folks, now uh, what I want to do is, is turn it over to our special guest uh, who's here with us tonight. He's someone who's been an inspiration to me and to all of us. Uh, Mr. President, I want to let you know we've got over 200,000 folks on the call with you here tonight. Let me turn it over to you, sir. Hey, John. It is great to talk to you, and it's great to talk to everybody this evening. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to take a few minutes to, to speak to everybody because you guys are the ones who are in the trenches day in, day out. And, you know, uh, as you guys know, I was you know, working as an organizer before I got involved in politics or, or became a lawyer. And so uh, I've got a little bit of a sense of what it's like. And, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, all of you have done greater work and had more of an impact than I ever did when I was uh, working as, as an organizer. I, I couldn't be prouder of what you've done uh, in your own communities, not just on the campaign, but uh, on a whole range of issues that have made a big difference. And, you know, for all of that uh, and for all the people that you're benefiting because of your work, I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, obviously, right now we're talking about health care. And, you know, there's, as John mentioned, there's been a lot of misinformation. And, you know, frankly, you know, there have been problems with the website that have, I think, created uh, and fed a lot of this misinformation. And, and so part of what I want to do is, first of all, remind you of what we've already gotten accomplished. Um, because of you, the insurance market has the strongest consumer protections the country's ever known. Because of you, there are millions of young adults under 26 who are getting coverage under the parents' plan, more than 100 million Americans getting free preventive care like mammograms and contraceptive care without copays so they can actually use it. Uh, most young Americans uh, who don't currently have health care are going to be able to get health care for less than the cost of their cell phone bill or cable bill. Um, and in the first month alone, we've seen more than 100 million Americans already in, in, successfully enroll in the new insurance plans. You've got a million Americans who completed an application for themselves or their families, and that represents about a, a million and a half people, and, and of those million and a half people, You've already got a whole folks, a bunch of folks who've successfully signed up to get coverage, and you've got almost 400,000 folks who could gain access to Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act. So, effectively, in a month, we've already got half a million Americans who uh, will likely have the security of health care for the first time in some cases in their lives uh, as soon as January 1st, and that is life-changing. Those of you who have, um, you know, been impacted by uh, all this, I think in some way directly know what it's like, the, both the fear when you don't have health care and then uh, the incredible relief that you feel when you finally have it, especially if there's a member of your family who gets sick. Um, but that still leaves uh, a whole lot of people that we've got to sign up over the next uh, several months. And obviously, you know, this has been hampered by healthcare.gov and the fact that Eventually, it's going to be the easiest place to shop for health care, but because of the problems in this website that has made it tougher for folks who are very interested to enroll, we know there are about 12 million people who visited the site, uh, and a whole bunch of them are probably going to want to get health care, but they've got to do so once we finally get uh, the website up and running. Now, the good news is it's getting better every single week, and uh, you know I am confident that by the end of this month, uh, it's going to be functioning for the vast majority of folks, uh, but we're still going to have to make sure that we don't use uh, the website alone to sign people up. Um, you know, and so what I want to do is make sure that everybody who's on the phone call understands we've always understood that we're going to have to enroll people by mail. We're going to have to enroll people over the phone. We're going to have to enroll people in person. Uh, it turns out that you know, purchasing insurance for a lot of folks is, is complicated. It's not something they've necessarily done before. If they did have health insurance before, a lot of times they just got it through their employer. Now they're in the individual market, or they've lost their job, or something's happened, and uh, you know it's a little scary uh, going out there and shopping for your own uh, and understanding what the choices are and the benefits. And, and that's why uh, the trust and relationships that uh, John was talking about when he was on the phone are so important because you, you can help encourage folks and and give them. Uh, the pathway so they can finally sign up and uh, get the health care that they need. So, you know, we've made sure that we've got a, a strong plan to uh, not just 
uh, fix the website, which I'm taking responsibility for, but also to make sure that there are other uh, ways that people can sign up. And you guys are going to be critical in that process. And, and remember, we're just uh, we just completed the first of a six-month enrollment period. So everybody who wants to get enrolled will get enrolled. This isn't a one-day sale, and the prices aren't going to change during the course of uh, the next uh, several months as people sign up. So we just got to go out there and get it done. And as we go into this holiday season, we have to remember the conversations uh, that we've got around the din dinner table uh, when we're talking to coworkers at a Christmas party, when we're uh, out there in our communities, our churches, our synagogues, uh, you know, all our places of worship. Uh, now's the time to remind people that, look, uh, you know, we've got to make sure that everybody takes advantage of the, the opportunity to get affordable care for the first time. Uh, and when they do, they're not going to run up against lifetime caps on coverage. They're not going to have to worry about paying for preventive care. And most important for a lot of folks is they can't be denied coverage due to a pre-existing condition. And that's what we fought for when we entered into this battle. And we knew it was going to be hard uh, because, you know, change is hard and there are a lot of vested interests and obviously we haven't been getting a lot of cooperation uh, from the other party. So I've run my last political campaign, but, but I've got one more campaign in me and that's making sure that this law works. Uh, and we're not backing off one bit to the need to make sure that everybody who right now out there uh, is going to the emergency room when they get sick and worrying about going bankrupt when they get sick, that they're finally getting some relief. And that the law not only uh, can do that, but will do that as long as we've got you guys out there working as hard as you have already. Um, and, that, and ultimately, that's what we've been working for ever since I started running this campaign. You know, we did it for every mother who's desperate because a child has a pre-existing condition, or every hard-working American who was forced to give up their insurance, and, you know, hang his or her fortunes on chance. Um, we did it because some of us know the experience in our family of heartbreak because somebody doesn't have uh, the health care system they, uh, they need or, uh, or the, the health care system has failed them in some fashion. And you know, all along, at every step, there have been folks who've said this wasn't going to happen, folks who've said this is dead, folks who said, you know, uh, it's never going to work. And, you know, that's been going on for three years, and it's not any different now. The difference now is we can actually make sure that uh, you know, people get signed up and start experiencing those benefits right off the bat. And if we do that consistently and effectively over the next six months, uh, then uh, this law is going to be one that uh, lasts for generations to come and people will see uh, you know, why we fought so hard to do it, uh, to make sure that uh, we are not the only advanced industrialized country out there that uh, has such an inefficient, uh, expensive uh, health care system that leaves too many people out of it. And so my main message is I'm going to need your help, uh, your energy, your faith, to, your, your ability to reach out to neighbors and kids and friends and coworkers. Um, you're going to make the difference. And as a consequence of that work, you're going to save somebody's life, somebody's mom, dad, daughter, son. Um, you know, there aren't too many things that are more important than that. Uh, and I just want you all to know that despite all the noise out there, despite all the criticism, despite, uh, you know, all the setbacks that we've experienced throughout this process, I've never lost faith in our ability to get this done, and mainly that's because of all of you. Uh, you guys have lifted me up uh, and lifted each other up uh, at every step of the way. And I know you're going to just keep on doing that. So uh, I'm grateful to you, and uh, I appreciate you. 